Hey everybody, it's Matt again for God in Gears, and this is going to be episode 166. And uh, Christmas is in nine days, okay? So I want to talk a little bit about Christmas. I was talking with a friend uh, earlier in the week, and we were discussing um, how it would be if Christ never came to earth. Uh, how things would be in the world today. We, we kind of look at the world and our country's kind of going south and it's messed up and the world's messed up and how how much worse would it be if christ didn't come and so <clears throat> um if you know for centuries people have been you know celebrating like winter solstice and and worshiping with like pagan worship and stuff like that for that's been going for centuries uh with the different um seasons and whatnot and uh so I don't want to get into that too much, but uh, Christmas became a federal holiday in uh, in the United States in 1870. And so even back then, uh, most people believed in the birth of Jesus and they believed in Jesus, God. Uh, you always have your naysayers. You always have people that just are not going to believe. Um, but so today, you know, we're at the point where it's it's kind of shifted. So we don't have a lot of people that do believe and the birth of Jesus and or the real meaning of Christmas and so you know 150 years later you know what happened so I just want to talk tonight about that that's going to bring me to my opening verse which is uh the gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God okay the apostle John you know wants to start his gospel off uh, with creation similar to how Genesis 1 1 started in the beginning all right <clears throat> you know the word this was a title given to Jesus you know John gives him this title the word um, notice how it says the word was with God and the word was God so Jesus was with God and Jesus is God okay and that's only possible whenever we're talking about the doctrine of the Trinity all right it's the only way that's possible all right so I'm gonna go ahead and read verses 2 through 4 the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Okay, so we want to take notice, all right? By him, and without him, and in him. You know, this is all the personhood of Jesus. All right, and then I'm going to flip over to verse 14. I'm going to read that. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory as of the only begotten, begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay? You know, the eternal word, it took, he took on human flesh. Uh, Jesus is God and creator. Jesus is God-man, okay? <clears throat> he always is. He's, he's fully God, and he's fully perfect man all the time. And... The doctrine, you know, it's not being taught anymore with Jesus and creation and God, the Trinity. And, and that's why I kind of wanted to mention that today. Because when we think of Christmas, everybody's Xing out Christmas, um, happy holidays, tis the season and all that stuff. And they're totally missing why we even celebrate Christmas. Because without Jesus being the Savior, we have no hope in anything. And, and so that's why, you know, think of how life would be. Um, if we think that it's bad now, just imagine what it would be like if Jesus didn't come here. One more verse, John 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, And the light shineth on darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And so that's the thing, you know, people, they're denying uh, Jesus. They don't, they're not going towards the light, they're going... Uh, into their, their dark ways they're not comprehending the light and so i can't imagine how bad things are i i talk to people every so often and i think about when you know noah and the flood and there was only eight righteous and to me that blows my mind and so i kind of compare today's state of things to that and there's still a lot of good that goes on 
Um, there's more than eight righteous people here in the world. You know, so there's still good things. We don't hear a lot of good things all the time. But during the time of Noah, it must have been really, 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 really bad for God to say that's enough of this and, and destroy the earth, you know, by the flood. So we're not that bad yet, but it's we're 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 getting there uh quicker than we should be, I think. But just remember that, pass this on to people. We don't want to take Jesus out of Christmas, and uh, he is truly the reason for the season. Okay, I'm going to have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we're thankful for your word, Lord. We're thankful that uh, you are the word, Lord, and we put all of our hope in you, all our trust in you, and so grateful and thankful for that, Lord. Help us to be a blessing to people, Lord, and just be during these you know, nine more days until Christmas, you know, Lord, we celebrate that. Help us, Lord, to be able to share your birth with people, Lord, to give them hope, to give them the hope that we have, Lord, that there's there's so much more. I, I think of eternal life. Uh, that just blows my mind also. That's a whole nother topic. And uh, the fact that we don't have to have live in this sin car's body anymore and living in the sin car's world anymore. Uh, to God be the glory. We cannot wait and look forward to your return. But Lord, in the meantime, uh, there's people dying and going to hell and they need you, Lord. So just be with us, Lord, help the ministry, um, help people watching just to get encouraged and share you and share your birth with others uh, during this Christmas season. And we thank you for everything you do for us. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. So last week, I was telling you that I uh, did a little more welding on the A-pillar down here and uh, some grinding. I still got to touch up that. Uh, I did wire wheel the rest of the firewall. And uh, got that in primer, got the floor out, and I did mention that last week. And I got to start drilling the holes in that to get that well. So I'm hoping next week for that video, I'll have all that done and then the floor in place anyway. So we'll see how it goes. We're moving along. Yeah, I'm still trying to juggle stuff around the garage here and doing some little bits, pieces, you know, here and there on the garage. And I got garage doors sitting back here that I got to work on those also. So I want to thank Gunner for doing the video. He's helping me today. And uh, just keep focused on Jesus and share uh, the birth of Christ with people uh, the next, you know, as, as much as you can, but the next nine days anyway, all right, until Christmas. So have a good week and we'll see you next week.